What's going on? Appreciate you for tuning in to part three of this Euro trip. We're starting this off at the NYX Hotel in Prague, where it cost about $120 a night. The hotel's location was perfect because it was maybe a five minute walk to the train station as well as the main square in the city. I've been wanting to come here for a while because I've heard several stories about how Prague is so gorgeous and how it has the best nightlife in Europe. I mean instantly from the moment we walked outside I knew the rumors were true. The city is extremely medieval with most of the buildings being older than 300 years old. Prague has never really been seriously damaged, not even during World War II, which is why it's been so well preserved. This is the Old Town Square and it literally took my breath away. This might be the most beautiful town square in the world. I mean it was massive and I literally felt like I went back in time. There's so many restaurants to choose from in this square, they're literally side by side. We did try to eat at one restaurant and they only accepted cash. We didn't have that issue anywhere else, but just make sure to ask before you sit down and eat. We came in August and let me warn you, if you're like me and you like walking around new cities, this ain't the time to come. For one, it's like 95 degrees outside, so your boy was sweating. For two, it got crowded fast. There were times where we were shoulder to shoulder with strangers, just trying to get by. So being hot and sweaty mixed with being in a large crowd was my only negative thing to say about Prague. There were three different things I had to see in person before I left, and the first one is the astronomical clock. It's the third oldest clock in the world, and the oldest working clock in the world. And it looks cool. Now let me tell you how fake Kim was. I've seen the elevator of death online, but I didn't know it was in Prague. She knew this and didn't tell me I was so heartbroken. I had to be petty and guilt tripper for the rest of the vacation. She definitely got sick of me on the train ride to Austria. Walking around Prague, you're gonna notice these antique cars everywhere. I don't know the cost, but you can either pay to have them drive you around, or you can rent the car yourself and drive around the city. If you notice in the distance, that pointy building in the back is the Prague Castle. Cool fun fact. The Prague Castle is the largest ancient castle complex in the world, occupying about 750,000 square feet. So at this moment we're making our way over to the Charles Bridge. As we're walking I'm using the GPS on my phone to get there. Ironically we end up stumbling upon the most narrowest street in Prague. At first glance this tourist attraction is just a set of stairs with a red and green light to direct foot traffic. I personally think it's great marketing, as there's a restaurant at the bottom of the stairs. One thing you should know about Prague is that it's extremely walkable. All the tourist attractions are within a 5 to 10 minute walk, and to walk from one end to the other, it takes about only 45 minutes. You most likely will never need to order an Uber, unless you have physical limitations. Earlier I said there's three things I had to see in Prague, with the first one being the astronomical clock. Well number two on my list is the Charles Bridge. With its several medieval statues, it's a must see, especially if you're trying to get a selfie for the grand. So in my last video in Germany, I mentioned how there's bees everywhere. Yo, same thing here. When Kim and I were at the end of the bridge, I actually got stung by a bee. I was so upset like, yo, why me? 
Right now, we're walking back to the hotel to shower and change as we have dinner reservations in a couple hours. I found a dinner package on TripAdvisor that included a medieval show with a five-course meal, unlimited beer, wine, and soft drinks for $60 a person. The food was alright and they definitely give you a big portion, so you most likely won't be able to eat it all. The seating is first come first serve, so you sit wherever you want. We ended up sitting with four other people, two from Edinburgh, Scotland, and two from Melbourne, Australia. They were really great people. We shared a lot of laughs and drank a lot of beer. We were the last table to leave, so the staff basically had to kick us out. Anyways, I'm going to show y'all what it's like in there. Overall, the show was cool. Me and Kim both liked it. The food was solid and the people we sat with were great. We didn't have any issues with it at all. After the show, we went out to a bar for a couple drinks and called it a night. The next day, I woke up a little earlier than Kim so I could walk around and get some footage with less people around. I personally loved it here. I thought the city was beautiful. I think everybody should come here at least once in their life. I flew into Berlin, spent a couple days there, then took a four hour train from Berlin to Prague. Almost everybody speaks English, so purchasing the train ticket and taking the train was really easy. The train ticket was a little pricey. It cost $90 a person to get here. After a couple hours of walking around alone, me and Kim grabbed some breakfast before making our way over to the Prague castle. We saw these horses and Kim was so sad. She was like, babe, I want to free the horses, but I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> like, hi, babe. But yeah, I don't know if anybody else had issues getting to the castle, but my GPS led us to mad dead ends. The GPS had us cutting down side streets, but every side street had a sign that said, this way does not lead to the castle. Yo, I was getting tight. And it was starting to get hot again. Ultimately, my advice to you if you're walking to the castle is just follow the main road. I promise you there's no shortcuts to get up there. The castle was cool and all, but we didn't go inside. It was almost 100 degrees and humid. It was like walking around in Florida in the summertime. I didn't mention this in my Berlin video, but it held true for every country we went to on this trip. None of these places had AC inside. The only time we were in AC was in the hotel. Yo, Europe gotta stop being cheap for real. That's one thing I definitely took for granted in America. The view overlooking the city made the walk worth it though. It was mad crowded as everybody was trying to get a video, but you know your boy had to squeeze in there and get something for the vlog. At the entrance they had a little shop selling juices. Yo, those damn bees were there. I was low key scared, I was not trying to get stung again. We made our way over to the Charles Bridge, but this time I wanted to walk underneath it. I wanted to see what was going on over there, but it was quiet. They had a couple of restaurants, but that's really it. 
We really just sat at a bench for an hour, trying to cool off in the shade. I love walking around new cities to find hidden gems, but I was definitely forcing it this time. It got to the point where Kim was getting too hot and she tapped out. She willingly ended up sitting at a bench by the water, by herself, while I kept going. I felt bad, but I had one more thing to see before we left the following morning. It was a little out of the way, but I had to see the dancing house in person. To get there, the walk took about 15 minutes from the Charles Bridge. I've seen it on Instagram and Twitter years ago, but never knew anything about it. There's a restaurant inside the dancing house, a rooftop bar, and you can even rent a room to stay during your vacation. We didn't get the chance to check it out, but I do wish we planned it better and made time to go inside. This just about wraps up the video and I want to say thank you for joining me on this trip. Prague was a really cool city to check out and I'm so glad we came here. Because it's so small, I felt like two days in this city was more than enough. You could probably do three days, but definitely no more than that. It was very affordable here. Like to cool down from the heat, I ended up buying beer at a convenience store and it was cheaper than buying water. I think I got a 16 ounce can and it was like 80 cents. And the beer was good, like you can't ask for more. The last night we went to this burger spot called Vitapna and it had a really cool concept. The waiter goes to your table and takes your order. And instead of the waiter bringing you your food, it's brought to you on a toy train. I've never seen anything like that before, it was something different. I really appreciate you guys tuning into this video. This is only part 3 of this trip, so y'all make sure y'all stick around for the next video as we'll be making our way over to Vienna, Austria. If you can please subscribe to the channel, it'll help me out a lot. I have a lot of videos coming up and I plan on posting more frequently. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys soon. Y'all be easy.